Started coaching when I was in high school, so I was I don't know, grade nine or grade 10. Essentially, my younger brother needed a, needed a coach, and so my dad had stepped in, and then eventually I kind of took over, and yeah, that was it. It was just coaching community club basketball. So to see the development of myself personally compared to where they are now, it's unbelievable. 10 years, it's crazy. Number five, Zach Giesbrack. Bounces doesn't go in, coming down with it is Giesbrack. Less than a minute. Oh, and Giesbrack making a statement. And John Taylor are the 2016 Milk 4A Varsity Boys Basketball Champions. And the assistant coaches, John Giesbrack. I think it happened about two years ago. Yeah, it gives me chills right now thinking about it, actually. I don't know, you had this sense of feeling that like all these past years with John, with the guys, and it just, we all looked up to John and he was, he was, he was the guy, I don't know, he, he, we always knew that he was doing with good intention. If he wasn't coaching that year, I don't know if we would have had the same season. When I think back to all the, all the different things that helped shape me become who I am, and especially as a coach, like that's one of the things I value the most because I think coaching him really developed my patience and my understanding. Between the legs, Skip, here we go. Yeah, so my man, you're Lucas, right? Just listen to the balance, okay? That's big. Yeah, my bad. So you're gonna go here. Okay, so you're swiveling your hips, okay? Yes, good. That's it. Like I have this need to serve others, to really guide people and help people get, you know, get to the next step, whatever that may be for them, right? Everybody's in a different headspace. You know, everybody, you know, has different experiences, has a different perspective, and you have to take the time to be patient to eventually, you know, understand where they're at. You know, and then you can maybe help them get through whatever they're going through, right? And this is kind of where I'm torn with the high school stuff and with trying to, to make it to the pros, is that I love feeling needed, right? Empowered, and I think that's everybody. So I feel at the high school level, I felt that I was, you know, needed. I'm gonna play it back, we'll watch it one more time. Okay, what do you see? I like that, he's attacking the top foot, but what about his stance, like Harden stance? Levels, right, so he's up, he's here, and then he drops and he explodes and he goes. Like he's more upright, he's here. But when I wanna change direction and explode, I gotta probably be down here, okay? So how low is he right now as he drives? He's pretty low, head's forward, hips are down. I think a lot of players, when they handle the rock and they try to change speed and change direction, they're always playing like this. They're always too upright. So we can work on levels early about playing down here. I think you're gonna be a lot more explosive. We got it? Okay, let's bring it in. Let's go. Three, two, one. Consistency. It's huge. And I told him, I said, your niche, your, your way in right now as a young coach is to be that energy guy that's, that works all night and cuts film, does a really good job with film and it's kind of getting his foot through the door. And then once he gets his foot through the door with his work ethic and unique skill set, then he can expand into other areas of basketball and show people like the other, other sides of his coaching uh, ability. Some of the stories, like, like Eric Spolstra, for example, like all the years that he, ha he had to, to do in the video room is inspiring to me, just, and it reminds me just to understand, you know, this is a process, right? And this is gonna be, it's going to be a little bit of a grind and you just, if you stay consistent with it, some door could open up. Eventually somebody's going to see the value that you, you can provide. Who's your favorite athlete? My favorite athlete? I would say, shoot, that's tough. That might be the toughest question you've asked. <laughs> like, I mean, growing up, because of Space Jam, I, I, didn't, I never watched Michael Jordan play, but because of Space Jam, he was like my favorite athlete. 
What's your favorite sport besides basketball? So my favorite sport right now is probably the NFL, like football, because I love the stoppages because I think it allows the commentary to really break the game down. So that's the one thing I've really appreciated about football, um, that they really break things down and I can learn.